All right, so the uh, Honda G3 lithium battery came in today and it's raining and generally crappy outside. So apologies for that noise, but I figured I'd show it off here. One, I got, I'm surprised to begin with that it's properly labeled for uh, lithium batteries on all sides it needs to be, which is surprising to me. This is only $40 shipped and this package is probably somewhere around 50 pounds, maybe 40, 50 pounds. So I figured I'd just do a little unboxing here. This whole battery is $440 shipped. This is the battery out of a G3 Honda Insight, which is what's selling right now and is lithium. And uh, as they suggest, yeah, this is, this looks like an OEM battery. This packaging is not something that someone just threw together. So it says it's an 1177 watt hour battery, so 1.9 kilowatt hour battery. And uh, yeah, this, this looks like a brand new lithium cell. Uh, we probably need to hop in and figure out. Yeah, so it's uh, two, I think it was 18 cell modules and two 12 cell modules. With little, oh man, these are nice. Little pop caps here for the positive and negative bolts, as they mentioned. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna press double, double cardboard as is required for shipping lithium with spacers in between it. So overall, these this looks like a legit pack. It doesn't look used at all. It looks brand new. I this uh, interesting little laser cut structure here. I wonder if uh, this is a, this is probably a, a crash detection system. I've seen this before on the Nissan Leaf package, but basically if there's a crash in the impact uh, and the metal ends up touching the cell here, if this crushes, or here on the bottom as well, then uh, that sets off a uh, device, or, you know, it tells the computer that there was some kind of mechanical impact. I think that's what that is, and we'll have to check and see. Um, but anywho, I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> One kilowatt hour for $400 is nothing to laugh at. Uh, you know, Elon Musk is shooting for the one kilowatt hour for $100, but that is in bulk. It hasn't happened yet. And uh, yeah, that's producing you know, gigawatt hours worth of power. This is uh, you know, twice as large as the OEM G1 Honda Insight Pack. And uh, seems to have the battery management system completely, oh yeah, it certainly has the battery management system completely built into it. Uh, or actually, no, these might just be individual packs out. Uh, let's see if we can pull this up. I don't know anything about these in case you can't tell, but I will very shortly once I take them apart. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go grab a screwdriver. I'm just going to leave the camera rolling here and you can just enjoy the rain sound. It'll be real fast. Hopefully that wasn't too much to bear. I got my trusty NI screwdriver here. Uh, if you can't fix it with an NI screwdriver, you need duct tape. So we're gonna just pop in here. I have no idea what I'm doing and try not to short anything out. Let me get this to where it's in a little better viewing angle. So, wow. Yeah, they are individually bolted cells. So you could actually take this pack at least electrically apart. I don't know if mechanically you can. Now, I'm not seeing any sign of a battery management system whatsoever. Oops, broke something. There is, uh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. There is no uh, battery management system on this cell, or this pack, rather. So it all breaks out of here, and I guess this makes sense. There's probably 19, let's see, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's it's, it's more, but it's only populated eight by nine. So that's, uh, let me make sure I can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, eight by nine. I guess we do it. We have connectors on the ends too. So we have 17 connectors 
uh, which would make sense. So we have 17 intermediate connectors for the 17, and then we need two more for the actual pack itself. So there's definitely two more on, but it seems like there's actually two more on either side. But regardless, there is no battery management system whatsoever built into this. So you're going to need to either plug into this, you know, find the mating plug, which I'm sure we can do. Um, but this is a per... I mean, this is interesting. Honda's choice here seems really odd. This is a really short cable. It has to plug into a, a loom somewhere. And, but any kind of device that's made for this is going to have to plug just directly into each cell because they're all, you know, just a three inch long, you know, maybe 100 millimeters uh, of length there. I do like the, the little tabs here. I think that's pretty fun. Um, I will say that the tabs coming out of here are not terribly substantial. Um, I'm not sure if they're designed to be fusible, and certainly they have some kind of mechanical uh, stress. They have a, a hoop in them, so it's some kind of mechanical stress relief. Um, and then this terminal is actually bolted here. This is probably an odor mold bolting of some kind. Uh, there is some kind of a QR code, but yeah, there's... So let's see if we can take this top off here and... I mean, we're going to probably just find a wire loom under here. That would be my guess. Oh man, bunch of plastic tabs. There's no reason anyone would need to look in here. It just unless it, yeah. So yeah, it's just the wires coming out. Exactly what I was thinking. Uh, where is the next? There's something. Yeah, if it looks like I don't know what I'm doing, it's because I you're seeing this as I am. Yeah, okay, there's some kind of yeah. So there's a plastic tab. Or every single one. Uh, if you do a hit beside doing this, uh, you might be a little more careful in your game because metal obviously can short out. Um, okay. So I'm not sure we're going to gain a whole lot of information here, but maybe it'll keep other people from having to wreck their cells. Well, those were cool, but they broke off pretty easily. It's probably just so people can't touch it once you have the whole pack installed. Alright, looks like we got one more. Yep. So yeah, it's just a loom to every cell, uh, and this one even has heat shrink. This is some kind of short circuit test. Yeah, it's got a resistor in there. So Honda's looking for maybe a specific resistance on each pack. That'll be something we have to determine later. You know, maybe one pack's 1K and the other one's 2K, so it can tell where, where it's plugged in. Kind of odd, but okay. Uh, so that's, that's probably the two extra wires I counted, if you remember. We had a 9 plus 7 and then 4, so we had 11. We had 20 wires. We only need, uh, we need 19 there. We'll need to look into that a little more. It might, it's possible there's a shared ground or something. But uh, yeah, you could take this apart, it seems. And uh, these on the sides are... Yeah, it's actually some heavy steel there. I'm surprised. But there are some T50s, maybe. They're pre pretty large t uh, screws in there that you could seemingly take apart and maybe get individual cells out of this. There's some kind of uh, fastening equipment there. Uh, so yeah, maybe when you take this cage off and unbolt the cells, it's possible they'll come apart. Hell, you can actually see through them. Probably can't see this, but yeah, there's actually, these are air cooled. There's actually a little like, probably a three millimeter wide air channel and it's just an accordion you know, a, a zigzag plastic spacer uh, so that they can blow air through the pack. Uh, so maybe that's... Yeah, you can't see through the bottom, though. I don't know how they're getting their compression in there, but I guess they are. Uh, so, anywho, that's it. There is no battery management. We'll have to check out that resistance there and see what's up with that. Um, but if nothing else, this loom could be removed entirely, and the channel raceway they have in here is actually really nice. Uh, you could, I mean, ideally you'd reuse this connector because there's no reason to reinvent the wheel here, but worst case, if we can't find it, which I'm sure this looks like an anthenol connector, so we'll just have to see what DigiKey finds. The Honda engineers, at the end of the day, use the same DigiKey that we all use. Let me see if I can put this back together. That's interesting. Okay, well, no battery management. Well, I need to put that back on. Well, that's it, I think. Um, as far as 
The next step, we'll obviously look at the battery voltage. I'm pretty sure this is just a standard LiPo cell, it's not tight mode or anything. Um, yeah, this is kind of an annoying thing to put back in. I'm actually really surprised they didn't use uh, like a, a printed a mylar, a flexible mylar, instead of having all those wires in there. Uh, I'm sure they have a system to put that in. Anywho, I'll probably never need any reason to ever go back in there, so obviously we need to find the resistor. Okay, cool. That's back together, and we'll snap that back down. I really cannot really see any reason that you'd ever need to get in there again. Uh, let's see if we can put these back on. Yep. Just snap. And okay, so when they're open, they're really easy to break off. That goes there. When they're closed, they have a some kind of detent there. Get that in. Okay, well, that's that's something. Uh, I'll go grab a DMA if you're still watching again. It'll just take a minute and get those wires off. Trusty fluke. And get that battery voltage. Let's see, this is 64.4 volts. Um, divided by 18. God, I can't do math anymore. Uh, I wish I'd left that open though. But we can reopen it. Okay. So we'll just do the be two cell voltage probably. Actually, that's not true. 7.17. So this is a 3.6 volt cell. Man, it doesn't tell us a whole lot, but it does tell us it's not titanate. That's for sure. It's probably a lithium, uh, a lipo cell. Uh, man, those really do come off easily. It's probably a lipo cell uh, that's just charged to 50%. I think that's the best way to store lithium. Cells. They don't come up as easily when they're small batteries. Uh -huh. So yeah, anywho, that's uh, that's what we know. I'll take one of these apart. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to take one of these smaller ones apart because I'm going to use three of them in, in the end site, and then the last one's just going to be a leftover. Wow, 64 volts in a real small pack like that is really nice. Um, that makes this 12. You know, that makes that 48 volts or thereabouts. <coughs> Let's see, 43 volts not charged, so probably 48 volts charged. So that's a, that's a pretty nice little 48 volt pack. Uh, I'm gonna probably, so I have a chainsaw that uh, has a pretty large pack out of uh, something else, one of the lithium titanate cells that I have. I forget which car it's out of. Um, it's pretty heavy, it weighs about 20 pounds. This is maybe eight pounds, something like that. Maybe, maybe 10. It's going to be a much nicer, smaller pack. Um, but again, there's no battery management system whatsoever. It is possible. I mean, there's something that sits in the channel here. Some other wire loom, maybe. Uh, something sits here. Uh, yeah, it has some kind of plug, but it's certainly not a battery management system because this plug is not going to. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe. I don't know. Certainly no battery management system comes with this. Make sure I'm not lying here. Yeah, there's nothing else in there. So, okay, well, that's, I guess, the G3 Honda Inside Lithium battery. Uh, do a little bit of bench pressing with it. Uh, we'll throw one on our load tester and, and um, see how much current we can push in, pull out, all that jazz. Uh, and uh, we'll see if we can take these apart, too. It'd be really nice to have a consumer on an off-the-shelf uh, lithium pack with bolts which this is, that you could actually take apart. To date, I haven't seen one where you can do that easily. The uh, original vault got close, except that the tabs were, of course, uh, welded together. So you'd have to cut the tabs. Having the bolts on this is really nice. If you can take the cells apart, too, uh, this is going to be kind of just the hit it out of the park as far as uh, building smaller lithium packs uh, with 
what appears to be readily available lithium. Uh, depending on how good this is, I might just buy like the rest of this guy's inventory or something. We'll see. <laughs> I have no idea how many he has. Uh, I'm surprised, honestly, that this even showed up. So, cool, 440 bucks. That's pretty impressive.